Kate. Hello, happy travelers. Welcome to Los Angeles. We are just across from Los Angeles International Airport. We arrived last night via big old jet airliner. We enjoyed our hotel stay, but now the fun really begins. Where are we headed? We are heading to the cruise port because it is cruise boarding day. And we are going to be getting on Royal Caribbean's Navigator of the Seas. Yes. For the second time, but for the first time from the West Coast. That's right. First time ever that we've sailed from the West Coast. First time sailing in the Pacific Ocean. We love Navigator of the Seas. It's a brand new itinerary for us. You know what? We're too excited. We gotta go. Let's go. <laughs> That's the celebrity. Wait a minute. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Navigator of the seas. This is interesting, by the way. This, okay, so we've never been to this cruise port before, obviously. Um, it's set up so differently than like the Florida ones or even the Galveston one that we did yeah. a couple weeks ago. And we should clarify that there are like kind of, I guess, two cruise ports in the LA area. Right. Long Beach is one. Uh -huh. We're here at the World Cruise Center in San Pedro. Yes. Now, it took us maybe like about 30 minutes to, to get to this terminal, but they said that it went a lot quicker because um, it's a holiday today. It's Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Yes. So there's not as much traffic. And there wasn't. No. We but, flew. But they said that on a normal normal day it could take like 45 minutes maybe like to an hour yeah so just keep that in mind like LA traffic <laughs> and so it's interesting because our, our lift pulled up just like this car did here the baggage goes uh right inside so they take it over there that's luggage drop off and then you proceed through here to uh to check in and, and go on board the ship so they get these tents set up here or we're gonna go in and see we'll we'll film as much of the process as we can we yeah. can't film security and stuff like that but We'll see. All right, let's see what this process has in store for us. All right, in our first tent here, they are asking to see our negative COVID test and vaccination cards. So that's what you need to have here in the first test. That's just making sure that you're good to go in terms of COVID. All right, that was easy enough. Just a visual check of the negative COVID test and the vaccine cards. Everyone's being very nice so far. Okay, this is security, so I can't film in here. All right, just like that, we're through. That was easy, a uh, standard security process. Just put the things through the scanner, walk through the metal detector. They check your uh, set sail pass and your passport. So we're done with that. We're good to head in. They do have some restrooms right here, by the way. If you do need them, welcome to Navigator of the Seas. They've spared no expense. Wow, this is actually a nice terminal. Even though security was in a tent, it was a nice tent. It was a nice tent. It had lights up and some plants and stuff. Dive into adventure. That's oh, what yeah. we're doing. That's what we're doing, baby. It's a brand new adventure. Yeah, I do like this terminal. Nice in here. All right, so now we have to proceed forward. We have to check all of our documents again. They're going to give us like a wristband that says we're vaccinated and we don't have COVID. Oh, just over here. Hi, you have a set sail pass? Yeah. Very appropriate. They sent us through the stanchions. <laughs> But as she called it, go through the line that looks like Disneyland. Chelsea's wearing a Disney uh, uh, sweatshirt today. Oh, adventure is out there. <laughs> and now they assign you to a station. Ours is ready, so we proceed forward. Now they're gonna go over everything again, all of our documents and such, and give us those wristbands. After a quick check of all the documents, we're banded. We've now, been tagged. We've been tagged. It says two ship right up there. Up to concourse level is where we head. Let's get on board. Oh, and this is cool. A reminder to start your mandatory safety briefing now. e are, of course, in play using the Royal Caribbean mobile app. So what we need to do is open up the app. We have to watch the video that tells us how to put on a life jacket. We have to listen to the ship's horn sound. And then we have to very briefly go to our actual assembly station so they can check us off. The whole process is so simple and easy. Where will it be? I don't care. We're going on Navigator of, of the, the Seas. seas. Too, nice. many, too many syllables, but it still rhymed. And we've ascended the escalator. We now head outside, which is nice. And you can get a photo here right next to the ship. Or you can proceed forward to get on board. Look, they got all the luggage down there. Let's and they do have a backdrop with the ship here if you want to get a photo there. So a decent walk down this outdoor sidewalk. 
we get to the end and that means we can get on the actual gangway here right up to the ship and we'll be on board. We just send the gangway, we now cross over and we're officially on board. Navigator of the seas! Now they just scan your set sail pass here because of course room keys will be at your stateroom in a sealed envelope tucked into the room number placard. So you scan your set sail pass to get on board, get your room keys at the room. I know we made a brief mention of it down there, but the crew, or I guess you can call them the crew. Well, the, the port crew, and also so far on the ship crew, is so nice. Everyone's been fantastic. Just so jolly, so welcoming. People are dancing with me. Yeah. I'm having a good time. It's good stuff. Let's go inside. Really quick, I mentioned it earlier, but for the safety e-muster, gather your assembly station right here. You have to watch the life jacket video, listen to the emergency horn sound, and then visit your assembly station. So ours is C10, deck four open deck. You can hit find on deck, and that will show you exactly where it is. So you just go there, they'll scan you in, you're good to go. I'm gonna show you how quick this goes here. We just arrived to our assembly station. So you just pull up your uh, set sail pass, and they're gonna scan it. Yo, uh, the next one? Uh -huh. so, so you guys have both watched the video, yeah? Yes. Just lastly, in case of an emergency, you'll have seven shots followed by a long one blast on the speakers. If you hear that, you'll proceed to your station, which is C10, yeah? Okay. You grab your life jacket and it won't cause a medication that you may have. If you need to make a medical call, 911 on any phone, or to speak to the medical facility if you're just not feeling good or anything, 50. Okay. okay. That's it. You guys are free to go. Perfect. Enjoy Thank you so much. Appreciate it. And that's it. That's how quick it is. That was the entire process, and they, we were the first ones to do it, so he even had to pull it up and stuff. So. Also, one of my favorite parts of the day, I got to hear the um, the check-in sound. Boink. 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 And we get our first assessment of the port. First of all, I love that there's a bridge going across over there. Always cool. Get to see these big cargo ships with all of these cargo boxes on them. Containers, shipping containers. And then look at the sun just glisten off the water over there. And it's it's like a cloudy day too, but we're still getting some sunshine. And most importantly, Pacific water. Oh snap. West Coast represent. <laughs> Put your hands up. It's well, time to well, groove. Well. Oh, Here's another first. Our oh, first day is Monday? Going off. That's never... No, actually it has, I guess. Four nights do oh, leave on Monday. Are you sure? No. <laughs> we just got on board and we're already reminded of how much we loved this ship the first time we sailed on it and we're so happy to be back because things like this right because it got the royal amplification well, before the COVID-19 shutdown Royal Caribbean was dumping about 100 million 120 million into their ships to what they call amplify them bring new things update features and so one of those things that you'll often see added and got added on this ship is the Caribbean pool deck so you'll see the brightly colored chairs orange yellow green blue all around you'll see the little casitas that you can rent for the day you'll see the lime and coconut bar a fan favorite it just really really adds to the ambiance, the enjoyment, the element, everything's just fantastic here. So we mentioned the two cruise ports in the area, the other being Long Beach, which I know Carnival uses quite a bit, and I do believe off in the distance there, do see a Carnival whale tail. So how about that? You can see the other port from this one. So there's a look at what we were talking about with the two different cruise ports. You can see the Carnival over there under Long Beach and then you see Navigator of the Seas and Celebrity Solstice right here where we are. So there is the Celebrity Solstice and it's really cool because when you look back this way, you get mountains. Are they really mountains? Probably just hills, right? Isn't that like a show? The hills? Yeah, and it took place in California. So are those the hills? Those, those are our hills. <laughs> uh, maybe the best thing about Navigator of the Seas is it has the best water slides at oh, sea. Oh, we're gonna be riding these a lot. Riptide. 
Riptide and Blaster. So Riptide is like a forward-facing mat racer. And then Blaster is, I believe, the longest water slide at sea. It is a water coaster, and it is the second best water coaster we've ever been on. Nothing can beat Krakatoa at Volcano Bay, but Blaster gives it a run for its money. It's so good. We are going to be riding these so much. On our way to our room, mm -hmm. it's cool if you saw our Liberty of the Seas videos. Uh, they had things like this down the hallway, pictures from different movies. These are awesome powers, which is funny. But this is so cool. They have like actual posters on this I ship. Love the posters, like big ones. Like yeah. legitimate size posters. Yeah. Greed, for lack of a better word, is good. <laughs> Gotta say, I'm very impressed. I don't think it's even. Is it even 1:30? Yeah, it's 1.30 right okay. now. Mm -hmm. uh, rooms are ready. Looks like they've been ready. Yeah. There's our room key, like I always mention, in the sealed envelope. It was tucked into the room number placard. Both of our bags are here. Yeah. Navigator crew has got it on point. I think they said... We heard someone say that there's only like a thousand people on board. Which like, is bonkers. We're like really empty today. Let's go in. You know what's not going to be empty? Our room. Yeah. Our heart. Oh, I like that one too. All right, and we are in, we are in. Oh, I like the couch. It looks nice and plush. This is really nice. The, the last time that we sailed on Navigator, it was right after it got the reamplification, but we were in like a new room. Like it was like newly constructed. Like yes. it was it was something else before the amplification, and then they made it into a room. That's right. And this is just like a room that's always been here, so we didn't know what the refurbed rooms were going to be like but it's really nice it's nice yeah because on some ships they're still old style but this has got seemed to have gotten some updates here so yeah here's the quick look at the room it's pretty straightforward standard what you would expect we'll take it though now if you're interested in the full tour there will be a video of that in our new navigator of the seas playlist you can check that out there where'd you go <laughs> Big shout out to the Crown and Anchor Society hooking us up. We got the same waters we got last time on Liberty, so these are bigger. You know, the only time we don't get Floridian water is when we're in Florida. That's true. And then when we go to Galveston in LA, we get Florida water. How interesting is that? Also, <laughs> cookies! An assortment of cookies. And we got like chocolate chip, oatmeal raisin, coconut ranger, and then something I've never seen before. I don't know what that one is. It's called Macadamia or something like that? the mystery cookie. Ooh. That's if you're brave, you eat that cookie and you see what what um your fate holds. Are you brave? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to know from the comfort of your stateroom as to when sail away is going to occur. Just keep a look for the the little rope rope thingies. See, what were those things called? They are ropes. We're gonna go with rope thingies. Well, no, I mean the things that hold the ropes. The the yellow. Oh, sorry, those. Big oh, I don't fingers. know if they call them like tie downs or cleats or okay. pilings or I don't know the official term. Okay, well we're gonna call them yellow rope thingies. If if you watch them and see that there's no longer rope attached, to those yellow rope thingies. You know, it's almost, uh, it's almost sail away time. Are you ready for your first West Coast Pacific Ocean? Which is the largest ocean, by the way? Sail away? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. And just like that, we push back from the dock, from the pier, from the terminal, however you'd like to phrase it. It is time to head out to sea.
are just about out of here. What a beautiful sail away this was. Lots of interesting stuff to see. Look at all these barges and ships and boats and all kinds of stuff out here. I didn't realize how like industrial this this port was gonna be, but there people are getting work done, that's for sure. They are. So we are headed out to sea, headed down to Mexico. So we'll say for now, bye LA. Bye LA. Bye California. See you in one week. Oh, and real quick. We have now started sailing for the first time ever in the Pacific. We're sailing in the Pacific. This is nuts. Guess what? It kind of looks the same. <laughs> it's a little more green right now. I think it looks the same, except it looks a little extra Pacific-y. All right, we'll be heading to dinner in just a little bit, but first we're gonna pop into the Star Lounge because one of our favorite events, especially you, you really like this one, finish that lyric. No, we can't just say the whole thing. Uh, it's, what is it? It's... Finish that... Lyric. Oh, <laughs> I see what you did there. Let's go. Let's head inside. Well, I'm sure I could be a movie star. Well, we got it on Liberty a couple of weeks ago, and we got it here as well. The Windjammer is back open for dinner, which is amazing. Now, we do have some fun specialty dining planned for this trip, as well as Playmakers, of course. Mm -hmm. But let's get it started right with the uh, Windjammer dinner action. Casual first night dinner at the Windjammer Marketplace. Oh, yeah, nice. <laughs> We came into the Windjammer just moments before they were closing. So we're not going to show you the food tonight because we didn't want to hold them up into shutting down the service. I did want to show you the um, the dining area because I love all the colorful seats. I love those like really cool um, spherical lights over there. Spherical? <laughs> also. Also. Salt and pepper back <gasps> on the table. New development. Salt and pepper is back on the table. It has been away since the restart. Of cruising. But where's paprika? Blue's Clues reference. Ah. But I did want to show you um, some of the food that we got since we didn't show you the food that was in the line. Um, salad, you can always get that. Um, they did have fried chicken tonight as well as mashed potatoes and gravy and um, fries and chicken tenders with the, which they typically have. Yes, I got two forms of potato and yes, I got two forms of chicken and yes, I'm okay with it. Well, that was quite enjoyable as Windjammer dinners always are. Wanted to point out, they are actually spacing tables in here. We mentioned a couple weeks ago on Liberty of the Seas that they weren't really spacing anything at all, but that is not the case here on Navigator of the Seas. Got everything spread out, spaced out, and uh, we'll see if we're uh, back in here for another dinner. We do have some specialty dining. Let's play makers. We will be back in here either for breakfast or lunch or something. All right, we need to do one more thing to wrap up day one. It's our new tradition. Night one, night aesthetic. Oh. You already know about the trademark. Oh, I have to stuff. for the evening but I wanted to take a minute and show you the nicest thing our good friend of the channel Lucretia is sailing on this cruise as well and she gifted us, us this is so cute it's a, a magnet and a keychain and I just I just love it so much and more importantly I really love that Lucretia is here so thank you so much Lucretia all right, friends, that is going to do it for us. Day number one, boarding day, a big success. Very big success. I'm so excited, and I'm so glad we're going to be here for a week. 
We're gonna have such a good time. Yeah, the party really is just beginning. We've hardly gotten into anything. Mm -hmm. There is so much more fun stuff to do on this ship. Plus, we have those awesome destinations on the horizon. But first, tomorrow, day number two, a day at sea. So we hope we will see you back then. Once again, I want to thank you for joining us for today's video. If you're interested in even more Navigator of the Seas content, you can check out our old playlist from 2019, or check out the other videos in this playlist from the new sailing. We'll have a full and complete ship tour, our room tour, the daily vlogs, as they're ready, they will be posted there. And of course, if you're interested in coming on board Navigator of the Seas, maybe sailing from the West Coast, or maybe just doing something else with Royal Caribbean, we can help make that happen. Of course, we are travel agents completely free to you, no charge whatsoever, and your price won't increase. So feel free to reach out via the travel agent information you can find in the description of this video. Also visit our website, hoffmanhappytravels.com. You can contact us there as well. If you recently booked, we may be able to transfer your booking to our agency. A little known fact there, Sammy. <laughs> <laughs> We're signing off for the night. See you tomorrow. Happy, Happy travels! From the West Coast. California girls, now put your hands up. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa. Oh. Sorry, I think I hit you in the head. Sorry. Kitty purry. Good night. <laughs>